Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about throttling in Azure Cosmos DB. So we'll first understand what throttling is, then we'll understand how to identify throttling and finally, we'll discuss about reasons for throttling and how we can fix it. Okay, so throttling, it means not responding and we get status code 429 in the response. So throttling occurs when container is unable to handle increasing number of DB requests and guys it, it's obvious. For example, a container it has a capacity of 2000 RUs per second and it is receiving request at 3000 RUs per second and in that case throttling will occur. And it might be quite possible that a container it may not be responding at that moment that is it may be throwing throttling and it may again start working in two seconds so again it's quite possible and now guys one important thing one ru per second is not equal to one azure cosmos db read operation or one azure cosmos db write operation okay and we have already discussed about rus that is throughput in detail in our earlier earlier videos so you may refer that if required and now guys, if we are working in .NET SDK, that is we are working in our c -sharp code and if we get throttling, then by default, that database query will be attempted nine times. Okay. And that is by default feature. But we can create our own custom retry policy as well. And we can configure this setting and not just for this throttling error. We can configure the such retry policy for other status codes as well depending on our requirement. So for example there we can specify the status code for which we are creating that retry policy and then for how much time it should wait and how many max number of times that DB operation should be attempted. And in general for a production workload if we see between 1 to 5 percent of request with 429 responses and if end-to-end -end latency is acceptable that means overall the system is stable and there are no user complaints then that is a healthy sign that RUs are being fully utilized so no action is required in such case and now guys how we can identify throttling so for that we need to go to the portal under monitor under insights under request we can find throttling request and if we see an unusual spike for error 429 that means that is throttling and we may need to take care of that and now let's see it in portal so guys we are in azure portal and if i go down under monitoring we can see these insights and we can go under requests and here we can see total request by status code and here we can see total request as well that is 429 and if you see as of now i don't have any throttling request but this matrix should give you enough information about throttling request and now let's discuss about reasons for throttling so obviously first reason insufficient are used that means our database throughput capacity or our container capacity is it is insufficient and we need to increase throughput that is ru per second and in case if you have configured manual mode then we may need to update it to auto scale mode and guys this manual and auto scale modes we have already discussed in detail in our earlier videos where we discussed throughput that is ru in detail and finally another reason it can be hot partition and guys if there is a hot partition then there is no straight uh, there is no straight fix we need to create a new container in that case with correct partition key and we need to move data from old container to the new container and we can use a tool for this and now guys we discuss a hot partition can be reason for throttling but then how we can identify hot partition so for that again we can go to the portal and under insights under throughput we have this normalized ru consumption percent by partition key range id okay 
and what it says is if there is one partition key range id that has significantly higher ru consumption than others so for example ru consumption is 100 for that partition key range id but for others it is 30% that means that this it can be a hot partition 